Hey y'all, today we're making some delicious red beans and rice. So we're gonna start out by chopping up one onion. Now, I know what some of y'all are gonna be thinking when you watch this video. Aren't you from South Louisiana? Why are you not using the Holy Trinity <laughs> in your red beans? Well, there's a couple of reasons. I do have my own way of making red beans, but that is not what this video is about. This video, this is my brother-in-law's recipe for red beans. Now, he is not from Louisiana. I'm not gonna call him out and tell y'all where he's from, but I went and stayed with my sister about a month ago or so, and he made these red beans and rice, and y'all, I am telling you, these things are so dang good, and I was like, you know, I was gonna do y'all a video with my red beans and rice, but I might like his better than I like mine. Don't tell anybody I said that. That's just between that's just between us. But anyway, so what y'all are gonna get to see today are Russ's red beans and rice. Okay, so and Russ better be watching, and I'm gonna expect a comment down in the comment section. <laughs> on this fantastic red bean recipe that I am putting together today. So, okay, like I said, you're gonna chop up one whole onion and plop that right over into your crock pot. Now, obviously, I just have my little insert sitting there trying to save myself some headache. So what you're gonna need next is some sausage. Now, I use the Manda, but you know what? You use whatever you have. If all you can afford is whatever they have at Dollar Tree or some great value sausage or whatever, don't let anybody make you feel bad about what you have to use in your dish to feed your family. You hear what I'm telling you? Red beans, along with being super delicious, is a pretty cheap thing to make. So if you have a big family, or even if you don't have a big family, but you're on a budget, red beans and rice is a go-to. You got to have you a good red beans and rice recipe. So that's what I'm giving y'all today. I'm giving it to you right now. I'm helping everybody out. But like I said, I kind of like the Manda sausage, but you use whatever you like. Now, I just chop these up into, you know, little bite-sized pieces. I don't, you know, quarter them up or, and all that. Now, you also can brown your sausage before you put them in the pot. I don't do that, and I know that's controversial. <laughs> um, I have before, but honestly, I don't notice a whole lot of a difference and it may just be because of the length of time I cook my red beans and rice. So a lot of people will tell you you need to get up and soak them and then you, you know, soak them overnight and then you cook them the next day or whatever. I cook my red beans all night and then all day. So you can do it however you want to do it, but I'm showing you how I do it to get the results that I like, okay? So go ahead and just chop, chop you up. What is that, about a pound of sausage? however many pounds that is, them little three sticks, and put that right in your crock pot. And then I rinse my beans, because you know, sometimes dry beans, they'll have a rock in the package or something. So rinse your beans off. Then we're gonna add in, now y'all know I don't like to measure, so y'all don't tell Russ I didn't measure this, but about a quarter of a cup of jalapenos, okay? I didn't measure, but this looked like about a quarter of a cup to me. So you're just gonna put that right over in your pot. Now, another thing that I normally do when I cook my red beans is add like Tony's and stuff, but I didn't do that because for a couple of reasons. One, he doesn't use that in his, and I added these jalapenos, and y'all know I'm a wimp when it comes to heat. So I don't normally measure my water either, but for y'all I did, just so you can see how much I'm using. So I put in 10 cups of water. Now, you can see at the, you know, when it all is, is over and done, how much juice I have. And if you want less juice, just add less water. Okay, then it called for two packets of the bouillon, like the Goya bouillon seasoning. Well, I didn't have that, I had the big container. So I put what I thought was about two packets. Then I added a little bit of um, garlic and a little bit of onion powder. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Now, don't go heavy on the salt because you're using bouillon. Now, you do have to use a bit of salt. That's a whole pound of beans and it takes a lot of salt to cook these beans, y'all. But, err on the low side and then add it if you need it, okay? Then I added in four tablespoons of butter. And like I said, y'all, this, this ain't my recipe, but 
it's it's definitely a fan favorite around here now so this might be the way i'll continue to make it from now on so but don't get the big head russ okay don't get the big head over there okay so once i added everything in my pot i just went ahead and i stirred it up real good and like i said i put mine on the night before so i put mine in the crock pot I turn it on low. Now this is late at night. This is probably between 10 and 11 at night that I did this, but you can do it whenever you need to. So I put this in the crock pot and look, please don't forget to plug your crock pot in because uh, your food won't cook if it's not plugged in. Don't ask me how I know. Okay. So plug your crock pot in, put it on low, let it cook all night long. Okay. We're going to just let her cook all night long on low. So then the next morning I got up and I went in to check my beans because I always like to check and see if I need to add a little more water. So uh, look how good this looks. All them onions and peppers floating on top. But this is what it looks like the next morning. So this is after, you know, I don't know, however many hours of cooking, eight hours of cooking or something. But you can see our, our you know, our broth is still kind of light. It's kind of thin and all that stuff. But we're going to let it cook the rest of the day. So don't you worry about that. All right, so just put your lid back on there after you check it, you got plenty of water, and we're just gonna let it roll for the rest of the day. Now, when it gets close to time for you to eat, you gotta make you some rice. So I'm gonna show you how I do mine for my red beans. I put in two cups of water, and then I'm gonna add in a little bit of that chicken bouillon. Now you do yours however you want, and I know most people are like, why are you showing us how to cook rice? We know how to cook rice. But you know what? Some people don't know how to cook rice, so I'm doing this for everybody. So then you're gonna dump in one cup of long grain white rice, and this is not instant rice, this is regular rice. And a lot of people I know, um, let their water boil before they put their rice in or whatever. I'm just showing you how I do it. This is the way I've always done it and it works for me. Then I just added a tiny bit of salt because we added bouillon and a little bit of pepper. Once it comes to a boil, you're gonna cut it down on low and you're gonna put the lid on and let it simmer for about 15 to 18 minutes. Then take it off the stove and just let it sit there with the lid on, just leave it over there. All right, now this is when we getting ready to eat y'all. And you can already see the color of the broth on these beans. This has cooked way down and you can see those beans are nice and soft. They're not falling apart, so don't worry about that. They haven't disintegrated, but this is just how I like mine, y'all. And I like, I like the juice in my red beans. See there, see that juice in them red beans? I don't want dry red beans. But if you like yours creamier, you can take out a, about a, you know, a half a cup or a cup of your beans and like mash them up and then add them back to your pot. And that will make your red beans a little bit creamier if you want a creamier texture to them. But I'm gonna tell you, if you make them just like this, you're gonna love them because they are fantastic. All right, y'all, that is all I've got for y'all today. I will catch y'all on the next one. Bye, y'all.